Hi, my name is Kelly McElligott and I'm one of the educators here with Bywater Solutions and I have this short tutorial on how to use the cart feature in the OPAC, otherwise known as the Public Library Catalog. So this look should look quite similar to your actual Public Library Catalog. This is just a model site that we have at Bywater to show you a few things. So this is a video that's directed towards you, the patron, that shows you some key features that will be helpful to you as you use your Public Library Catalog. This feature I'm going to show you today is the cart feature. Now the cart feature has is very unique because you do not need to be logged into your library account to use this cart feature. Picture this as maybe a shopping basket as you walk through the library um, that will help you find the books you're looking for. This is just a temporary location for you to store books that possibly are something you want to check out. So I'm going to go ahead and do a basic search on the in the library catalog. I'm going to go ahead and hit go and I'm going to get my results. Here I'm going to have a, just a brief view of a result. I also, once I have a little bit of information, title, author, the publication, and if it's available in what branch, if I'm part of a multi-branch system. Below that I actually have some options. I can place a hold on the item. I could um, request an article. I could um, add to cart. So I do have that option to add to the cart from this brief result. But I'm going to go ahead and click the title and just get a little bit more information and make sure this is the book that my mom told me to read. It's about mothers and daughters, so she must have. So I over here on the right hand of the side of the screen, I have that option to add to my cart. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can see that now next to my cart, I have a little number one. There was one more book that um, I was going to look to see if my library had. And I'm going to go ahead and search the catalog again. Once I do that search, I see this is the book that I was looking for. And I'm going to go ahead and hit add to cart from this screen. Actually, if I see this brief result, I see this is the large print edition. So if I wanted to actually get the regular edition, I could go to this one and then add to the cart. So now I have two items in my cart. And once I click this cart, I can actually go ahead and look at the items that I put in my cart. There we are, we have those two items that we put in our cart. At this point I have a couple different options. I could actually print this screen if I wanted to. I could download this or I can actually get more details on either one of these. If I click the, the box next to house rules, I could click that more details and I can actually see a little bit more information. I can see the branch that it's at. I can see the branches up here and I can see the call number, which will help me find it. Now, if there were, there are a couple other options that I can do if I was logged in. I could email this to myself. I could also place either of these on hold. But again, if I just had my phone or I was using the library catalog and I wanted to find some items and put them in this temporary location of a cart and be able to um, access them in my library, I can do that. So this is a great feature that your library has um, on the, the your public library catalog. Thank you so much for watching. This, this tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions. Have a great day.